La Procuraduría General de, de la República dice que mis compañeros ya están muertos. Dice que mis compañeros fueron quemados en, en Cocula, en el basurero. A short film about um, the case of Ayotzinapa, where in 2014, 43 students disappeared. They wanted to go to Mexico City to attend a demonstration because in 1968, um, before, uh, before the Olympic Games in Mexico City, um, there had been a massacre of hundreds of students. And this case was opened in 2002. So they wanted to change the buses in, in Iguala, like 200 kilometers from, from Ayotzinapa. And um, yeah, they had, uh, there happened all, all the things. They disappeared. They were attacked by the police. And they think that the military is involved. But the um, government of Mexico forbid to research the government. Nobody could um, ask questions to them. The persons who studies in um, the University of Ayotzinapa, they are studying becoming school teachers. They go to the smallest yeah. towns and they uh, give uh, lessons to, to the to children, like, like first years. They're learning how to write, how to read. These teachers are giving lessons to the people and it's left winged, very left wing. So, so yeah, there are conflicts. I spent some days there. I talk to the people, I introduce myself. The parents of the disappeared students um, decided that they let me do this documentation. And that's how it happened. And I've spent only a few days and um, I want to make like a portrait of the situation. Yeah. So, so um, there are so many things like the history, um, um, suspects, um, suspicions who, who call them and you can't put them in a movie and so, so I decided to portrait, portrait just one thing, just one, some aspect. I couldn't tell it's like this or like this because me either, I don't know exactly. I could make the case public or can help to, yeah, that the case will stay public, that some people um, um, know from this and that nothing will be forgotten about the students. It's like, it feels like it's not my movie, it's like it's, it's a movie of them, for them. But I could show it to, to Ernesto, the student. He really um, um, was glad that I did it. And for them, it's just one, one step to make it public. It would be so great if they have some success with their demonstration fight. Um, so there could be a happy end. But it's so difficult, this question. It's, the case is open and um, the people are still fighting. Going to Mexico, especially to Mexico, to make a documentary, um, it's a good idea, but it's a difficult thing, it's, it's dangerous. Some gangs followed me, the police robbed me, um, they tried to kidnap me, uh, it's <laughs> everything. But it's so important to go there, to, to move something. Like, um, I think they discovered me Somebody uh, found me, I got some phone calls and um, I had to be very careful, but, but it didn't stop me that I had some problems there. It, it encouraged me because um, the positive things in Mexico are way more important for me. I um, got to know so much good people, they helped me, I made friendships, so I had more good experiences over there. So, and I want to make my movie and nothing will stop me. There's no can't, no won't, no impossible. I really like these kind of, of festivals. It's like, it seems to be small, but I, I've seen um, all the, the people watching documentaries on a sunny day. Um, it's really impressive that um, um, they are coming for documentaries of, of, of difficult, of, of strange topics. And it's, it's a good thing, it's a good um, development, I think. So, so it encourages me to go on also with um, documentary filming. It's, it's, for me, it's inspiring.